hey guys what's up how are you doing you guys are welcome to another knowledge field analysis with chi in this lesson i will be teaching you guys about equilibrium of structures i'll also enlighten you on the equations of equilibrium and lastly the types of support for plane structures these topics are of course very essential in this course without further ado let's dive into today's lesson starting with equilibrium of structures when we talk about equilibrium, what do we mean? Equilibrium is a word which is synonymous to balance and stability. So if a structure is in equilibrium, therefore all its members and parts are balanced and they are stable. So how do we know when a structure is in equilibrium? A structure is considered to be in equilibrium if when at rest, it remains at rest when subjected to a system of forces and couples. Explaining what a couple is. A couple is a pair of equal parallel forces that acts in opposite direction with the same magnitude but they do not share a common line of action. That is what a couple is. So in order for a structure to be in equilibrium, all the forces and couples acting on it must balance each other, meaning the resultant force and the resultant couple must be equal to zero. That means there are no resultant couples and forces acting on the structure. So having understood what equilibrium is, we now move on to the equations of equilibrium. Basically, there are three equations of equilibrium. We have the summation f of x must be equal to zero, the summation f of y must be equal to zero, and the summation of m must be equal to zero. Summation f of x simply means the algebraic sum of the x components of all forces. In simple term, the horizontal forces. The summation f of y also means the algebraic sum of the y components of all the forces. In simple term, vertical forces why the summation f of m means the algebraic sum of the moments of all forces about any point in the plane of the structure and the moments of any couple acting on the structure also this simply indicates that the resultant couple is zero and the resultant forces are zero so summation m must be equal to zero meaning the summation of all the moments must be equal to what zero now that should be all for the equations of equilibrium moving on to the last but not the least topic for this lesson types of supports now before we go into the types of supports we first have to know what supports are right yeah so what are supports a support in a structure is simply a member which helps other members to resist loads Basically, the function of a support in a structure is to prevent the movement of a structure when a load is applied by exacting opposing forces, which neutralizes the effects of the load, thereby keeping the structure in equilibrium. That is simply the work of supports. So there are three types of supports, which are roller supports, hinge supports, and lastly, fixed supports. I'm going to explain all the supports in details and also give you the supports and the number of reactions that they possess. When we talk about ruler supports, the number of reactions of any kind of supports depends on three factors which are the vertical forces, the horizontal forces and the moments. So these three factors will aid us in identifying the types of supports. So starting with the ruler supports, the roller supports only resist perpendicular forces. It cannot resist horizontal forces and moments. A very good example of a roller support is a roller skate, something that we all can relate to. A roller skate can only move horizontally and in a circular motion. The circular motion is known as the moment, which can go clockwise or anticlockwise. Now this is an example of what a ruler support looks like. It usually has balls on the or circular stuffs on the. It's either drawn like this or like this. Now to know the number of reactions a ruler support has, 
we have to know what forces it can resist and what forces it cannot resist so since it can only move horizontally and in a circular motion that means it possesses horizontal forces and moments meaning it cannot resist horizontal forces and moments that simply means we are left with one which is what the vertical force it can only resist the vertical force meaning it cannot move in that direction so that means we have what one reaction for the roller support so all roller supports has just one reaction because it can only resist one force which is the vertical force i guess that is clear moving on we have the hinge supports the hinge support resists both vertical and horizontal force but cannot resist moments a very typical example of a hinge support is a door leaf a door leaf can only move clockwise and anti-clockwise it cannot move horizontally or vertically meaning it cannot resist the moment but it can resist vertical and horizontal forces now since it can resist vertical and horizontal forces that means it has two reactions which is reaction in vertical components and reaction in horizontal components these are diagrams that are used to represent hinges so this is an example of what a hinge looks like last but not the least we have the fixed supports now these are also known as rigid supports they are restrained against both rotation and translation so they can resist any type of force or movement this simply means when something is fixed it cannot move meaning it can resist all forms of forces fixed supports can resist moments vertical forces and horizontal forces meaning it has three reactions a very clear example is a beam fixed in a wall that will be all for today guys i hope you learned something from today's lesson shall we do a recap of what we've discussed so far today first of all we talked about equilibrium structures we know that a structure is in equilibrium if initially at rest it remains at rest when subjected to a system of forces and couples then we looked at the three equations of equilibrium which are summation f of x must be equal to zero summation f of y must be equal to zero and summation of the moments must be equal to zero then we looked at the types of supports we have the roller support which has one reaction the hinge supports which has two reactions and the fixed supports which has what three reactions so that'll be all for today guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like share and drop your comments thank you very much see you in the next lesson